three. That's tomorrow, and that is it for us today. And we will leave you with a. I, I can't do it. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll, no. we'll do it live. Fuck it. Do it live. I can. I'll write it, and we'll do it live. Right. Fuck. Invincible. <laughs>Yo, what is going on, guys? It is uh, Creepy Dude ICU here, and uh, with a, uh, another podcast for you guys today. Sorry, I haven't been able to do a podcast, you know, in a while. It's uh, it's, it's been a while. Um, but uh, hopefully, you guys have been patient and everything. Uh, for the next podcast, this one's gonna be Assassin's Creed because you know, uh, I've been doing a lot of Assassin's Creed videos lately, and I'm here with. That's your cue. That's your Q cat. You just your cat too? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my dog's dying. Yeah, yeah, I can see it dying right now. Are, are you good? Yep, I think I'm good. Alright. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, I'm here with. BHP cat too. Yes, I'm here with the cat. And, uh, yeah, we still need to film, uh, Unturned Episode 2. Uh, we haven't been able to do that because cat's internet is being weird and stuff like that but we will soon um you guys really enjoyed that that's like one of the like one of the popular videos on my channel which i didn't really expect because it was on it is yeah it is it actually is i checked the analytics oh my gosh it was like uh, unexpected. yeah it was unexpected i don't know uh, it was like something new and you guys really liked it so uh we're gonna do another one soon hopefully but yeah today we're gonna be debating assassin's creed uh syndicate and people got to get some hands-on gameplay with it and a lot of people are trashing it um people who are getting uh the chance to play the game at uh, events and stuff and are just given the game by ubisoft just to test out and give their uh honest opinion i guess are uh, basically trashing the game um and so i have some stuff over here on a web page from uh this comes straight to us from metro uh, uk, and so the, they were basically bashing on the game and uh, just, uh, it, they did praise the game for some things, like, you know, how it's uh, more realistic and everything, and it looks really great. But uh, they did say uh, the game is sort of uh, bad, I guess, and uh, there's some parts. So uh, me and Kat are going to be going over this and then giving, your guys, uh, <laughs> giving, your, uh, giving you guys our honest opinion and everything uh, over this topic. So, people have been uh, bashing on the game, uh, people who have had hands-on experience with Assassin's Creed Syndicate. And so, this comes from Metro, and uh, Kit Kat, I'm going to read this to you, and you let me know what you think about this, right? Okay. Alright, so this comes from Metro, and they said that, uh, like the Arkham games, uh, grappling works exactly has, as you imagine it, uh, super cool, highly accurate, and almost instantaneous. The Syndicate's version is more in line with the rest of its movement. Slow, fiddly, and feeling like it's going to break at any moment. What do you think about that? They need to fix it. They need to fix it? If it, is, if it is like that, they need to fix it. Have you played any of the Arkham games? No, but... Okay. I've played some of the Arkham games. Uh, like, I think all of them. Um, but uh, that's um, really true. Grappling is uh, really like smooth and uh, instantaneous. You just go up there just like with a click. Uh, they're saying it's that it's the same with Syndicate. It's just slow. I've seen that in gameplay. Have you seen uh, uh, the new gameplay? Uh, not really. I wasn't paying too much attention to the grappling or the graphics. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I I noticed it while I was uh, watching uh, some of the stuff. The movement's kind of slow. Um, okay. So yeah, it's gonna be slow. What do you think about that? It like it looks like it's gonna be a really fast-paced Assassin's Creed, but uh, they're saying that it's gonna be slow. That it looks slow and it feels slow. What do you think? Well. Seeing how we're in the Victorian age, it wouldn't probably be as advanced as Batman's. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of not shocking that it would be slow, but I don't know if they're intending for it to be slow or they're just it's just a limitation or something. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm thinking? They probably purposely made it slow so more people would go for parkour. What do you think? Is it will be still fashion parkour for probably though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they're going that just for parkour so people can use parkour more. Uh, but you could choose between what you want to use. 
Um, I would probably still go for parkour. Uh, depends on what kind of thing obstacle I'm trying to get over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, I'm gonna go into some more detail here on on the article they wrote. They're saying that the combat has always been bad with Assassin's Creed games. What do you think? No, not really. Maybe very simplified. Mm-hmm. I think it got sort of uh, messed up in Unity. Yeah. I think 3 was really good. So was Black Flag a little bit. I never played 2 or 1, so I couldn't say anything about that. But 3 was really good, you gotta admit. Yeah, it had some nice moments, but yeah. I would say Assassin's Creed 4 kind of capitalized on the idea a little bit. Assassin's Creed 4? Yeah, because it threw in different enemies where you couldn't just do the normal counter and... Mm-hmm. Kill them yeah, that was actually really true. You had to use some of your equipment and stuff to get around them, you know. Uh, mm-hmm. And three was, you know, just go out and uh, counter, 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 counter. But, uh, I don't know, the combat was really satisfying in uh, three, definitely. Yeah, it was very satisfying because Connor was very vicious and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was like always with the tomahawk and like going for people's necks, cutting their throats. That was really cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And uh, also, what the, um, they gave their opinion about how combat is bad, uh, like is always bad in uh, in Assassin's Creed games, and uh, how people like it because it's like uh, it doesn't require much effort to play. Well, that's uh, that's true, mm-hmm. but don't you think so? Frame, it you... doesn't. It doesn't really. Re- I, like now that I think about it, it doesn't really require much effort to play, does it? In Unity, it kind of did. Yeah, in Unity, it was um kind of different. They kind of uh, it was a pain, pain. It was just a pain mm, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes you had to like dodge, roll. It, I think it was they, they. I, I could see what they were going for, but they kind of missed the mark, you know. Yeah, they missed the mark. Yeah, the I mark. know, I know what they were going for because you know there was enemies where you know uh, you had to you know do, do a dodge roll, go under them, do a counter, all this stuff. But it just they kind of missed the mark with you know all the glitches and stuff going on. Yeah, that's... Mm-hmm. Yep. It's like... I far me likes the combat from Unity, but I don't really want it back. Mm-hmm. Wait, say it again. I didn't hear. I don't want the combat from Unity back, but... Yeah, I, I honestly don't, some... but it it the game is kind of looking similar. People have said that. Really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. The game is kind of looking similar. It is on the same engine, what do you expect, but... Uh, some people are saying it's gonna be a, like a refurbished Assassin's Creed Unity, just done uh, better, I guess. What do you say? That's kind. That's kind of. Eh, I'm saying you know, like, don't think about it as that. You know, it's a, it's a brand new game. Uh, sure, it has some similarities here and there, you know. But yeah, uh, it, it doesn't look like it's from the same engine. It looks like it's been. It's like yeah, it looks, they went it looks back. definitely more tweaked and stuff. It looks like a little bit back to the style of Assassin's Creed 4, mm. but a little bit more higher graphics. That's definitely true. I think so. It looks kind of like Assassin's Creed 4. Plus, it has some aspects like Assassin's Creed 4, like um, like how you have like a, a band of you know people you recruit for your you know how you ship. But in this game, it's like for your gang. You know, mm-hmm. I can see where they're getting like aspects uh, for Syndicate from there. Yeah, it's just like. I don't. I want them to be a good game. That's that's what everybody wants, man. Uh, because Assassin's Creed, I think, went downhill after four. Uh, just Rogue was okay. Um, it was definitely better than Unity. Got definitely a higher score for me. But um, it's just that people are saying, you know, it's it uh, it hasn't been on the right track since uh, since after four. No, th- it's like, I think you pretty much people played the game for the story. If you're like a more of a story person, that's what you'd be playing it for, not the mm-hmm. gameplay. I could have forgiven Unity if it had a good story. Yeah, the story was really plain. Um, you know, you could just it was generic. Yeah, it was generic. You could just forget about the game, you know, and uh, it wouldn't really go into the Assassin's Creed universe. You know, it's kind of like a side uh, game, you know. Yeah. And, uh, this game looks like it's it, it might tie in, you know, because the other games is like oh the animus and everything, oh Desmond, and then it went up to three, and then you know it was getting wobbly at three. People were like oh three is really bad. It's uh because uh, some of the gameplay trailers they showed Connor like doing really awesome stuff, 
And in the alpha, he was doing. It looked so amazing, but then they t totally switched up the game, uh, on looks and gameplay and everything. And that's what kind of make the series wobbly for some people. And then four was really good. Four is definitely like my second favorite Assassin's Creed game, and um, Unity was just off the mark, definitely. Well, I would like to see in um, Syndicate is a good story, of course, mm -hmm. but. I want to be able to have a re relatable character. Yeah, um, you know, Connor was kind of relatable. You know, his uh, he had a lot of really relatable. He was for the people. Yeah, he was for the people. You know, he always, you know, he wanted what his, you know, uh, for his people's betterment. That's what he wanted. You know, and uh, he was just more relatable. You know, uh, for some people, you know, uh, you know, parent parental problems and everything, and then uh. You know, his mother, you know, passing away at, some age, uh, at such a young age, you know, I felt for him, man. As, as soon as I saw that part, I saw that part, I was like, damn. It's like, if a game can make you hate a, a character mm -hmm. in the said game, you know that you're going to like this. Yeah. I hated Charles Lee. I hated I him. I hated him, man. Me too. At the end, when I was like, I was like, yo, this is the end of the game, I'm pretty sure. And then... Uh, where you get to assassinate Charles Lee. Spoilers, but it's not really spoilers, man. The game's been out for years. But, um, yeah, uh, at the end, it was just so satisfying to kill Charles Lee. Assassination. I just want, I want something like that in Syndicate. Yeah. Because... <clears throat> like, I, was, I didn't really feel for, you know, uh, Arnold's girlfriend, uh, and anything like that. I didn't really feel for her, you know, Assassin's Creed 4. I felt so much for Mary. She was, like, awesome character. Uh, very well developed character. yeah very like felt well developed you know a lot of uh, details on her and everything they did a great job with that and in unity i just uh i didn't really remember any of the characters yet, except for arno you know because that was the character i was playing you know i remember elise and uh yeah. Bella. yeah they didn't really be good they didn't give you like a too much of a big impact did they no it was just that's exactly yeah no. Mm -hmm. Topic, I'm guessing. Yeah. All right. So, um, also, what they're talking about is the graphics in Syndicate are very good. So, uh, do you think graphics matter? I don't know. Pe people are saying you know graphics uh, the matter, and some people are saying you know it looks better. Some people are saying it looks it looks worse. It looks like the same as Unity. I have mixed feelings of graphics. Right. So I'm just like I don't care about graphics too much, just as long as it doesn't look crap. All right. Yeah, I think. To give you my honest opinion and give you guys my honest opinion, graphics don't matter. But, you know, people come to expect a lot from graphics nowadays because look at some of the games, you know. And the games look like almost like realistic, you know, they took a picture uh, in real life. Some of the games are starting to look like that. And now some people are expecting that kind of game uh, graphic. The, you know, the graphical detail and everything. People are expecting that nowadays, and I'm coming to expect it a little bit. But you know, I'm still on. I'm still on the you know, on the side of you know, graphics do not matter. I just want better gameplay than graphics. Yeah, better gameplay is over graphic. That's definitely uh, one of the like main rules, I guess. And they said that uh, the main failure. They were playing a mission. They were playing the gameplay mm -hmm. demo at uh, Gamescom. So uh, they said that some of the failure was in the stealth and combat, uh, saying that uh, guards can just easily sneak up behind you, and then you just, uh, they said, I'm going to quote them here, they said, we, uh, a guard snuck up behind us, and in panic, we started randomly jabbing some buttons and managed to effortlessly kill him. And they said, we have no idea what we did, we have no idea what we did, but we do know we didn't feel like assassin badass. Uh, badasses while we were doing it. I don't really get that. Uh, they just jabbed some random buttons and mm, then they effort yeah. at least, uh, effort, let's see, killed That's been know. like that with every game though. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I guess, you know, the, they're, they're aiming, you know, you know, for, you know, the combat's gonna be way better, uh, and that you can't just, like, easily kill people, I guess. I don't know. It's, it's kinda, it's kinda, like, weird. I don't really, ex I, I don't know. Like, what do you think? It's just effortless to kill somebody? Like, where's the side of, like... I don't know. How's that going to satisfy a player? It's, I don't really get it. 
but maybe they have a the point. It might be really effortless and, you know, unsatisfying is, is kind of worrying me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just... Like, there's no challenge, you know? I think the assassinations will be fine. I don't know, man. It's what they're, they're, what they're describing it. I don't know. That's what they're describing. You know, they had a hands-on thing. I haven't been able to play True. the game. Have you been able to play the game? No. Yes. I don't know, man. But it's just... I can't think... It's like they... But they, the way they said it is they pretty much got seen. Mm-hmm. So technically, it wasn't assassination. It was them panicking. Yeah, but, you know, they just uh, hit a bunch of buttons and then, and then the guy was killed pretty easily. And, you know, uh, didn't say anything about him countering or doing uh, anything, you know, to call, call, like, to catch them off, off guard and, you know, have to really think on their feet. You know, they just went with it. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, if you did watch the gameplay, I did. Did you? No? Which gameplay? Uh, the EV one. The EV walkthrough? You, uh, EU? You I saw it um, on Assassin's Creed okay, okay. YouTube. Alright, so um, basically, um, in the gameplay, we did see that the detection thing was uh, the old circular thing um, from AC2, I believe. Do you, uh, do you know what I'm talking about? When you did get, no. there was a, like a little uh, circle around you, and it would point in the direction where you, uh, you would be seen. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, so the, I think they brought that from a previous Assassin's Creed, Creed game. I think it was AC2, don't quote me on that, but... I think it was that game, but, um, yeah, so they, they were saying how it's really easy to, to, like, not get detected, so this is what they said, I'm gonna quote them from the article, it says, uh, to avoid suspicion from others, a circular icon appears beneath us and expands the faster we move, and I guess, you know, they're gonna be detected more, uh, the faster we move, and then, uh, they said, but as long as no enemies enter it, our deception remain undiscovered, and that's it. So, okay, like in, um, let's say, Assassin's Creed 4, where their heads were, they could see you. Mm -hmm. If they had their te their head turned, like, a little bit to the left That or is right. very true. You're, you're all about the little details. That is very true, guys. Um, so you couldn't come on their side if they were turning that certain way. Yeah. The, um, so far, they're talking about how the game is really effortless. I don't know. I'm kind of getting, you know, um, worried because... Um, I saved up, you know, I saved up for the collector's edition. I was, uh, I was gonna go at it and everything, uh, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of getting sad now, okay, I don't know, I don't know, man, and is, is it like that easy? Are the guards gonna move around? I don't know, we've seen them move around. Well, we'll probably talk about how we put our thoughts on the day we get it, I'm guessing. Yeah, definitely the day we get it, yeah, uh, definitely gonna do something like that, but, uh, you know, I'm putting all my faith in Ubisoft and yeah and in EV and everything and like the whole game man I'm just putting all my faith in it I think they can do it Unity was shit but 4 was really good it was it was kind of like you know they were doing a back and forth like 2 was really good 3 was good for some people and bad for others and then you know 4 was really good and then Unity was shit and then you know this one could be good you know they keep going back and forth and they said there's no bugs while they played it, which is great. Oh, thank God. And, you know, um, that's, that's going to be awesome. I hope there is no uh, glitches and everything. That's just going to ruin it again. And I don't think they're going to bring it back. You know, they're not going to bring the game back. I don't know about that. Um, I really like what they're doing, the brother-sister relationship and everything. And how, you know, they're going to argue from time to time like they did in the uh, uh, trailer, the Gamescom trailer. Did you see that? No, I did not, I don't think. Alright, yeah, so there was like, um, I'll leave a link in the description, I actually did uh, a breakdown on it on my channel, but uh, I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to go see that, it was a great trailer, I loved it, it was awesome, um, but now that these kind of articles are coming out from a lot of people, I'm kind of, you know, on the fence again about the game, uh, the trailer made me, you know, support it 100%, but now these reviews are coming out of the demo people played but you know it's only a single part of the game you don't know if it'll like uh, affect the rest of the game you know mm -hmm. and you know uh, hopefully it won't hopefully the game will be good I don't know what you guys think let us know down below uh, what do you guys think about all these um, shenanigans going on people giving you know hate on unity I mean syndicate 
give people giving hate on Syndicate and uh, for some parts. Um, they did praise um, Syndicate for you know, no bugs and you know the graphics look really great and uh, uh, some aspects of it are really good uh, and realistic, you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm really hoping the game will be great. Uh, what do you think, man? What do you think? Like it sh at least if it's not good, it'll be okay at least. Mm -hmm. So um, probably won't be a big waste of money. Hopefully it won't, man. I like I said, saved up all I could, sold a lot of my games for that collector's edition because it looked amazing. And I don't know, I'm all about you know, I don't know the the the. the awesome freaking statues you get with that kind of stuff yeah. but yeah uh, let us know what you guys think uh, about all this uh, in the comments below do you think assassin's creed syndicate will be a uh, home run you know or will it be you know a miss a miss and hit you know hit and miss whatever but uh let us know down below uh love to read your comments we do and yeah we do love to read your comments so leave them down below uh what your thoughts are and um yeah, thank you guys for watching the podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let us know if you would like more. Uh, because this is pretty fun to like express yourself. Yeah, sort of. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching so much. Uh, be sure to follow me on Twitter. Do you have a Twitter, cat? Nope. <laughs> okay, so be sure to follow me on Twitter, I guess. Uh, at Creepy to see you. And be sure to subscribe and uh, become a creep today. Because, you know, that being creep is cool and everything. Um, yeah, and... Like and subscribe and uh, share and I'll see you guys later. Okay, okay bye.